Tell me about that sweet striped shirt. The sweet striped shirt actually came from Paxson, I believe. I like it because it's got stripes, it's longer, and uh, it, has a, it has a front pocket here. It's really convenient if I need to hold anything. Uh, I got this pocket. Today I'm wearing overalls, uh, I'm wearing a gingham uh, shirt, and I'm wearing a black cardigan. It comes down in the right length on my arms too, you know. I have a tattoo, so I want to keep, it's an avocado tree. Today I'm wearing this vintage um, button down shirt that I got thrifting in, back home. And I paired it with these jeans, which I just bought at a thrift store down there, and I changed into them. We're trying to start a new word right now. It's Average Josephine. Yeah, I love avocados. I'm a huge fan. I would like to grow them in the future, maybe. Have you ever been called an Average Josephine? No, I've never been called. A, I've never been called an Average Joe or Josephine. No, I have not been called that. You guys miss me. I usually wear like a, a big hat too, like a farmer's hat, sort of. Wrong day, wrong time. Yeah, it's okay. It would, it's alright. It's like saying somebody's basic, which is like nobody wants to hear that. I feel like average Joe is like not a negative term, but I feel like more people would like to be called a more personal and unique adjective. So I guess I would not like to be called an average Josephine. <laughs> That's really funny. But like average Mary Beth Flores, like that on the table. I guess, yeah. But I feel like average. It's pretty personal. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally feel you. Mm -hmm.